Welcome to this tutorial. I'm your presenter, Musonda Mandona. In this tutorial, we are going to look at two things. The first thing is on how to load your color lookup into Photoshop. The other thing, rather the second thing is on how to permanently install your color lookup into Photoshop. So with me is an image that was taken on my graduation by a friend of mine. It was taken using a Canon 600D. Okay, I won't say much of the details about uh, this image. Okay, so Photoshop comes with color lookups. When you install Photoshop, it will come with color lookups. But there are situations where you don't like the, the, the color lookups that are already in Photoshop. So what do you do? You choose to load in other color lookups that you've downloaded or you permanently install color lookups that you've downloaded so we are going to go on and look at on how to load these color lookups if you download a color lookup how do you load it into photoshop how do you install it in photoshop so let's go through the simple steps on how to load and install color lookups in photoshop so uh when you want to load a a color lookup into photoshop here are the simple steps on how you need to do that the first thing is go to the adjustment layer okay then go to go to the option color lookup okay then when you go to the properties of color lookup you're going to find why it's written load 3d loont Okay, so we realize to say these are the color lookups that come with Photoshop when you install it. These are the presets, rather these are the presets of color lookups that comes with Photoshop when you install it. Okay, so now when you want to load in um, a color lookup into, into Photoshop, what you need to do is go to load, load, 3d root okay so when a subfolder pops up on your screen what you need to do is go to a folder where you've uh placed the the, the color lookups that you've downloaded okay so this is where i've put the the the, the, the color lookups that so these are the color lookups that i downloaded the problem is you can't place them all at once you can't load them all at once you only load them one at a time so let's try to load in okay um okay let's try to load in this one okay load okay wow so we are able to see the difference that's the before this is the after so that's how you load a color lookup in photoshop so in a case where you choose to load another color lookup in Photoshop, so in a case, in a case where we choose to load in another color lookup in Photoshop, we are going to realize to say the first color lookup that we had uh, loaded has been replaced by the new color lookup. So this means it 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 can only be temporary temporarily stored. In Photoshop and not permanently stored okay so the next step is or now we now permanently store the color lookups into Photoshop so let's just delete this layer so here are the simple steps or now you need to permanently store your color lookup into Photoshop so let's try to mean let's just minimize Photoshop let's open in um, a new Windows okay let's let's copy the color lookups that we downloaded okay let's copy them after you copy okay just a minute okay so after you copy the color lookups we now go to this pc apologies my laptop i've changed the 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 the, 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 the name for this pc you go to this PC, then go to the folder on your on your laptop. It's on your desktop or laptop. It's written local disk C, but mine have changed the names. Okay. After you go there, you go to 
the folder that is written program files there are two there is the other one program files x68 but x86 but let's go to the one written uh, program files only okay then from there we go to adobe we now go to adobe photoshop cc20 since we are we want to load them into photoshop we go to adobe photoshop okay so here there are other sub folders that we are going to find but we are going to go to presets okay so we when we come into the folder for preset we're going to realize to say there is a folder for 3d loons okay so these are the these are the color lookups that are already in photoshop so what we now need to do is paste the color look the new color lookups let's just paste them there okay let's mark this continue let's just wait for them to load a little bit okay we are done so after you're done you need to close you need to close the folder and let's go to photoshop okay we are back in photoshop let's go to the adjustment layer uh, color lookup uh, load 3d loon so we are going to find to say when you paste them there they won't come to the folder for color lookups you won't find them there so what we now need to do is if we want to load them here we close photoshop let's restart photoshop in order for us to find them there so let me just close this image then let me also close photoshop so that we can reopen it okay now that we've restarted our photoshop what we need now to do is check if our color lookups have been permanently installed into our photoshop so let's just load in an image okay let me just load in the image that i was working on previously okay let's zoom it in for better results okay so let's go to the adjustment layer color lookup okay 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 wow 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 so these are the color lookups that we have permanently installed into photoshop so they are together with the ones that comes with photoshop so let's try to apply one of them okay so those are the results wow those are the results those are the results that you're seeing on the screen there so that is the before and that is the after so thank you for watching this tutorial my name is Musonda Mandona and please subscribe and stay creative